storm has arrived. Let's make sure there's no one here. They're safe. They're safe. All right, everyone is safe in the storm. It will get smaller pretty soon here, but there is a supply drop dropping at the chicken factory, and that'll appear in a couple turns here. Alrighty, red is going to loot. Let's give them a 15, and what is 15? 15 is porcupine armor. I mean, that's pretty good, but not that good, considering they have really good armor. So uh, yeah, let's just put that in their equipment so they know what they got. And then let's go to blue. They're gonna move the snowy chunk. Is anyone in there? No one is in there, so now they're over there. Let's say K so they know. Yellow is dead, so let's go to green. Green is going to loot. That's gonna give them 13. So let's give them the troll skin armor. It's decent. I don't know what armor they have. Uh, where is green? Green equipment. Good job. And then orange is going to also loot. They got one. They got a weapon. Pretty good weapon, if I do say so myself. The stick that does one damage. Pretty great weapon. Uh, let's put that in their equipment. And I believe that's it, because there's only four people now. Yep. Alrighty, next round. Alrighty, red is going to move over to the chicken factory and hide because they're a ninja. So green is not aware that they are there. Now we go to blue. They're going to move to giant rifts. We'll say K to let them know that they were able to do that successfully. Yellow is dead. Alrighty, green is going to stay put and do nothing. Orange. They're going to move to lava cano. And that's going to be the end of the round. We have someone looting the supply drop. That's going to be seven. I think it's the radar beacon. Which is, I mean, it's good. It's good for aggressive players. I don't know if they're going to use it. The other person hasn't used their radar beacon. But let's give them the radar beacon. And then blue is going to loot. And that's going to be advanced loot. So let's give them eight. And that is going to be diamond armor. I don't know if they have armor or not. But that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Do they have armor? Uh, don't think so. So that is good for them. Uh, yellow is dead. And green is going to try to get the drop. But someone already got it. Since red was a ninja, and they uh, decided to loot, it alerted green to their presence. Green is going to flee to crystal, because they, you know, <laughs> there was the ninja, so rip that. And finally, we have orange. They're going to green grass. Alrighty, the storm is closing again in three turns this time. It's going to be quite small. Red is going to travel to the chicken coop. Next up is blue. <laughs> They're gonna move to Snowy. They're quite far away, but I think I'm gonna let them get out in time for the storm. Just because dying to the storm would be a, a little bit of an anticlimactic end. Uh, and especially since I don't have the, you know, storm rules quite set up properly yet. And then we have Yellow, which is going to... Oh, they're dead. Never mind. Alright, so. Green is going to use their Ender Pearl, so let's remove that. And they are going to go all the way to the... Factory. Next up is Orange. They're going to move to the chicken coop. But there is someone there. So let's see what happens. Alrighty, so first let's get his damage. 1 through 5, that's going to be a 3. Plus a stick is 4. Plus the warrior, so that's 6 damage. And since they are attacking, let's see what they got. They're using uh, their two vegetable soups, so that's 4 armor. Plus the emerald armor, so that's going to be 13 armor. That's pretty good. So we have Marco, red team. 1 through 5, that's going to be a 5, plus Dragon Breath Blade. It's going to be 15, but is it a crit? It's not a crit. If I was saying it was 10, it would be a crit, but I've been doing 1 the entire time, so it's not a crit. So that's 15 damage, and then we'll take the Ruby Armor, 15 damage, and Ruby Armor is 8. So let's do that. 8 armor, and now let's do the math and see who won. 15, and then 13, which means red does 2 damage. That is not good. All right, let's see what happens. Six damage versus eight armor. So two damage to negative two damage, or zero. I guess it'd be negative two, considering what I'm doing. So Derby has fallen. It was close, though. It was close. All righty, so orange is eliminated, which means we have the final three people. This is going to be pretty crazy. Red has activated their beacon. So let's remove that, and for the next three turns, they'll be able to see where everyone is. I'm going to message them that now. Alrighty. They use their radar beacon, and they're going to loot. So that's going to be 1 through 21, and that's going to give them a 2, which is a terrible weapon, but, you know, you get bad things sometimes. You never know. So let's give that to them. Pop that down. Blue is going to move to the desert. <laughs> they have a long ways to go. And then green is going to loot. So that's also basic loot. That's going to give them 13. So let's do that. 
Troll skin armor. Copy that, and let's give that to them. And there we go, next round. Red is going to move to Leaky. That's good. And then we'll go over to Blue, who is going to move to Blue Land. They still are trying to get over here as fast as they can. And Green is going to loot. That's going to be 9. And uh, let's give them 9, which is a boomerang. Pretty decent weapon. And then let's go over here. Green chat, yep. And now we shall do the next round. Alrighty, we have some advanced loot here. 1 through 18, generate that. That's going to be a 15, and I think that's a pretty good one. Uh, beef stew, yeah, that is a very good one for sure. Definitely going to benefit him. That is very, very good. Very good item. Then we go to Blue, who's going to move to Discord Crystal. And then we have the next person, Green, who's going to travel to Sandy Land. And there we go. Alright, another advanced loot. This time it's 17. And that's vegetable soup, so that's also really good for Marco, for red team. And there we go, he is actually insane right now. And uh, next up is blue. They're going to move to the Cheek in Factory, and that is going to be good. Alrighty, green is going to loot. It's a basic loot zone, 21, that is the new item. Uh, I believe that's the stun grenade. Could be useful. So there we go, they looted, and then the next round. Red's going to move to the Goo Factory. Blue is going to move to the Chicken Coop. Everyone's getting real close here. All right, so he's going to loot. That's going to be 11. List of items. Let's go over here. Basic armor. That's useless for him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll put that in his equipment. All right, next round. Marco's going to try to move to Sand, but there's someone there. All right, we have another attack on our hands. All righty, so let's do Marco's attack first. One through five, generate. That's going to be a three plus... The 10, is it a crit? That's going to be not a crit, unfortunately, so that's 13 damage. So 13 damage, 8 armor, and there we go. Uh, he's a ninja, so it doesn't do anything there. And then we have green, who's going to use the crossbow. Uh, let's see, what does he have? Is the crossbow really his best bet? Well, I mean, that's what he's going to use, so let's see, where is the crossbow? Does he even have a crossbow? I forgot about this too, so it's actually 15 damage and 8 armor for a red. We'll do greens, so he uses Rage Bow. First of all, let's get his 1 through 5. That's going to be 5, plus the Rage Bow, and he's being attacked. So, let's see here. Rage Bow, it's 8 if he's being attacked, so 8, so that's 13. And what class? He's Paladin. So that's 13, attack, and 10 armor because he's Paladin. Uh, I believe, right, Ruby Armor? Yes. Now, this is going to be close. I'm interested to see what happens here. So, oh yeah, that's true. He had both stews, right? It's it's 10 armor. So 15 damage, uh, 10 armor. Then actually, that does make a difference. I'm glad um, Marco caught that. Remember, if you have your stews, you're supposed to tell me these things. So that actually is going to change things. And just like that, Marco is just barely going to pull up and win. It was a close one, but Bloop has fallen. Fatality. All right, Red is going to use the juice, and what that's going to do is teleport him all the way to the chicken coop, and that's going to make a conflict happen. We'll do Red's first. He's going to do the same thing. Generate this. That's going to be five, and then we'll take the five, and then we'll do this. Is it going to be a crit? It's not going to be a crit, so that's 15 damage plus the juice, so that's 17 damage. 17 damage, 10 armor, and then let's go over to Blue and see what he's going to do. Oh! Flamethrower is going to melt through that armor, but he doesn't know that. So, Flamethrower, let's first of all take this, 5. So that's going to be 2, so that's 8 damage. What class is he? He is a ninja, so it really doesn't matter. So, 8 damage, uh, and 7 armor. Uh, let's see, did he have any drinks or anything like that? Nope, let's see here. So, 8 to 0, that's going to be 8 damage. And then 17 to 7... Wait, no, 17 to 7 is going to be 10 damage. And <laughs> uh, looks like, it looks like we have a winner here. The 8 damage to nothing, so 10 to 8, that's close. But Swift died. That was a really, really close one. And it's over. Alrighty, that's going to wrap it up. Red team has come on top. Marco is the victorious winner. 5 kill win. Yes, that was a lot of kills. That was very good, guys. GG, everyone. I hope you did enjoy this uh, very different video. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.